Hey, what's up? It's HJ, and uh, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, and I am so excited to be back. I'm so excited to be back. So, suicide has been coming up a lot. It's been happening a lot. It's all over the media. It's all in society. I myself have... I wouldn't say like any type of lifelong struggle, but it's definitely crossed my mind a time or two in my lifetime. Um, so I have struggled with it before. I know that so many people struggle with it and Christians even struggle with it. Like what? Yeah, Christians, we have struggles. We love Jesus and we have Christ, but we struggle with things too. And so I am coming today to talk to Christians. And I knew growing up, I always heard if you take your own life that is the worst abominable sin that you can do and you go straight to hell no matter what that's something i always believed um, until a few years ago in my life when i really stopped and examined it from god's point of view examined it through scripture we're not supposed to just blindly believe whatever anybody tells us he wants us to know about him in truth and his word will give us the truth so i am here to talk to you guys about why even though we should not do it obviously we shouldn't commit any sin but why if you're a christian if you do commit suicide you will go to heaven you will not go to hell and so that's what i want to look at today with you guys i hear things like well if you commit suicide you don't have time to repent of your sin and therefore you don't go to heaven i hear things like well Technically, a Christian would go to heaven if they committed suicide, but the Holy Spirit wouldn't let a Christian commit suicide. And I just wanted to combat this with scripture and tell you why, even though I'm not, and I'm saying this right up front because I know somebody on the internet is going to think that I'm like condoning it or something. Obviously, nobody should take their life. We are made in God's image. We are God's property. We are God's creation. Our life is in his hands and should not be in our own. But I am trying to give comfort because maybe you've had a friend who was a born again believer and was still with the Holy Spirit and they did take their own life. Um, there is hope that you will see them again in heaven. So maybe this can help you in that regard. But I just want to combat first the idea that you don't have time to repent. So the thing about scripture is you have to be able to apply it consistently to all thoughts, right? So if I got angry and yelled at my husband, which is sin, and I ran out the door and I got in the car to leave and backing out of the driveway, a truck hit me and I died on impact. Well, I didn't have time to repent of yelling at my husband, which is a sin. So does that mean I go to hell? No. The beauty of Christ is that whenever he died to be the atonement for our sins, it's all of our past, our present, and our future sins are under the blood. So you do not need to repent in order to clean up every sin that you do. Or we would be repenting like every two minutes because in our minds we're sinful, in our hearts we're sinful, in our desires we're sinful. Sin is not just an action, but even scripture says, if you look at her with lust, you've already committed adultery in your heart. Like we are so sinful that we would have to be consistently and constantly repenting like every five seconds in order to make sure that we hurry up and get into heaven. Scripture says that we can be secure in our salvation because Jesus paid the price once and for all, for all of our sins. And that's just a foundational belief of the gospel that whenever Jesus saves you, he saves you from all your sin. And so if you commit suicide or you die in a car accident and you didn't have time to repent, you are still God's child. How we stand before God under the blood of Christ atoned is never going to change. Once Christ is your savior, he will hold you fast and be your savior until the day that you see him face to face. So this idea that you don't have time to repent, we would have to apply it across the board. And so many people, when it gets to go to heaven, goes, oh, they didn't have time to repent. So don't even worry about that. And if you guys want to talk about eternal security, let me know in the comments below and I can do an entire video on that. Like we can unpack that way more with way more scripture and in way more depth, but I'm just going to keep going with the video. Um, but yeah, that's eternal, eternal security, which we have in Christ. So another thing that people will say is, well, a Christian wouldn't commit suicide. If they really have Christ, they're really in him, and the Holy Spirit really resides in them, then they would never go so far as to take their life. And I just wanted to look at that again. We have to look at everything consistently. So 
if our hearts are capable of taking another person's life, like a Christian could kill somebody else. Look at David in the scripture. He lusted at a woman. He took another man's wife, which was that woman he lusted after. He impregnated her. He sent her husband out to die. And then, like, he murdered him. So look at what somebody who loves God. And you know what scripture still said about him? David is a man after God's own heart because he repented eventually. It took months. I mean, if you look at it chronologically, but he repented, he saw his sin, he put himself before the Lord and he knew that what he did was wrong. So if David, what scripture says is a man after God's own heart could murder, could lust, could commit adultery, all of this stuff. How could we say that a believer could not fall so deep into sin and into despair and into confusion and into anger and into just feeling alone in this world that they couldn't take their own life. The Holy Spirit isn't just like holding us back. Like we have reins on us and he's just like holding us back from sinning like this. We have new hearts. So we have the ability to choose whether or not we're going to be holy that day and serve the Lord or whether or not we're going to walk by the Spirit. The Bible tells us to walk by the Spirit. It's telling you to make that decision to live holy. So if scripture tells us that we can make a decision as believers to live holy, then we can make a decision to live unholy. We can make a decision to sin, and we could make a decision to take our own life. I think it's really important to understand the joy we have in Christ, how we overcome sin, the power we have because of Christ, but it's also really important to realize our own depravity and really how capable we are of sinning in a moment. The same person that loves her husband one day in the next day can get frustrated and leave him or cheat on him or whatever it is. Like that's why I think it's so important sometimes when we say, Oh, I would never do that. Like, yeah, we could do that. You could do that. We are capable, but we have the power of the Holy spirit to walk by the spirit and to overcome sin and to live victoriously. And that's the hope I want to bring to this video too, is that if you're watching this because that's something you've contemplated, yeah. suicide, and you just want to know I am a Christian, but I do contemplate suicide, which I have before, so I feel you. Um, know that God is not a liar. The Holy Spirit lives inside of you if you are a believer. If you are saved, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit. And he gives you the tools, not only the Holy Spirit, but he gives you the body of Christ to build you up, believers to sharpen you and to carry your burdens whenever you feel like you can carry them for yourself. Talk to somebody, share your struggles, share your thoughts, and pour it out on a wise, strong believer and let them be your strength and let the Holy Spirit be your strength where you feel like you have none. But if maybe you've had a friend that has committed suicide and you know that they were a born again believer, you can live knowing that you will see them again, that Christ is not fickle. He doesn't say you can commit any other sin and I will still love you and keep you saved and see you on the day that I see you face to face, except for if you commit suicide. Sorry, you've gone too far. Yeah, you're not going to find that anywhere in scripture. So I just want to encourage you guys. I love you guys. I know suicide is a hot topic. If you have any questions, um, comment below. If you have more questions, because um, I just went over a few points. If there's another point that you have a question about, I would love to search the scriptures and be able to help you out with that and give you a biblical um, answer or advice. I love you guys. Um, I pray right now that if anybody watching this is dealing with that, that the Lord would just bring them peace and joy into their heart and give them wisdom to know the path that they need to take to overcome this struggle. Um, yes, growing in my wisdom of who God is, uh, what he's done for me, what he's promised me, and how he's given me the church to overcome certain things. Um, that's how I've gotten over things. So I just pray that you can grow in that also. I love you guys and you're amazing. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. If you have any questions below, I would love to answer them.